Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Charlton away, it's Charlton against Fleetwood vlog. Yes, my fifth trip to the valley awaits, can't wait for this one. It's quarter past five in the morning here and I'm absolutely buzzing for another away game as well. Match day six in Skybet League One. We've not won yet this season. Just a one point after five league games. Cheltenham won their opening game. Have lost the last four games in the league since. Dean Holden was sacked as Cheltenham manager on Sunday night. So it's going to be an interesting battle. Cheltenham are a good side. Brought a lot of good players in, in the summer market as well. And got a good core as well. One of those being Alfie May, Harry Easton in goal. Pursuit Kamara already injured. That's a problem when you sign good players at League One for a reason. And that you know that's his reason because his injury record isn't too good lately as well. Charlton, good football club, good support. There'll be ten thousand there or more come Saturday. So again, expecting a really tough game as well. Fleet, we need to start picking up points. Otherwise, we're going to start struggling. We're already second from bottom. And we're five games in. But if you can like this video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Over 65% of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. On this channel, we do full League One coverage. We do League One shows on a Sunday night at 8 o'clock. So get tuned in for them as well. League One videos. And of course, the match day vlogs and all things Fleetwood and League One as well. So subscribe down below. If you could hit like. If you can hit 250 likes on this one, it'd be massively appreciated. And this is the last time to vote for me for best uh, content creator football league just type cod vlogs into the box scroll to the bottom press vote link will be below that'd be massively appreciated let's get down to london and by the next time you see me it'll hopefully be daylight come on the cod i believe we can get something today i'm gonna go for nil nil come on the cods Yes, we've arrived here at the Valley. A day that started at 5 a.m. getting up, 7 a.m. on the coach, and 2 o'clock just before team news is out here at the Valley against Charlton. Managerless Charlton, you've lost the last five, but so have Fleetwood again. The El Crapico, some could say at the moment. They've got some good young players, a Simway, Carnu, you know, in there as well. And I really like the Blackett Taylors, the Alfie Mays, the Harry Easteads, um, you know, your Ness, Jones, all good players as well. So it's going to be a really difficult game today. Again, here at the valley it's a beautiful day as as you get down south we don't get many of them down uh, you know up north shall we say but again i think the team news needs to be brave today i think we need to bin off the back three if i'm honest with you i think we need to go to a back four josh charlton fan a busy busy deadline day a busy summer mm -hmm. a lot has changed charlton last season if you offer if i probably asked you at the end of may you're probably saying you got a kick on from 10th looking towards the playoffs your business did that pursuit kamara alfie may harry easted just to name a few obviously what was it 11 signings yeah. in the end it was a busy window dean holden obviously was was talked about as being one of the best you know managers in the league last season obviously when he signed his new deal it looked promising didn't it what are you thinking now? He's gone. Bashir <laughs> Kamara's injured. Miles Lieben's been injured. Obviously, yeah. I think Frazier's been out injured. Injuries have rocked your season, but performances haven't been near good enough, even with the squad that you've had out. To be honest, I think Holden's sacking was premature. Um, I think he should have been given more of a chance, yes. to be honest. Um, I think, yeah, the results were poor. We weren't playing at our best, but we've got to count that we've had multiple injuries. You know, we've had Lieben's out, Fraser's out, Kamara's got injured as well. So it's like key, key players, part of this squad, that are out injured. No Josh Hill, no Jay Lynch, no Jaden Stockley, no Promise on Sherry, and I believe no Brendan Wiridu. That's a core of your team, that's five players. Uh, we did bring in two deadline day signings. Um, uh, obviously, um, a striker and a midfielder, they brought in four you know, in on deadline day and 11 in, in total. So again, going to be uh, an interesting battle to see um, who plays out of them. Obviously, a lot of them weren't signed before the deadline of 12 o'clock yesterday to be uh, assigned to the squad. What's your, what's your thoughts today? What's your score prediction? Now, I, do you know what? I was very, very positive in my league on predictions, but I don't want to look half mug. 3-0. Uh, I'm staying 3-0. Wow. 3-0 wow. us. Fa fair enough. And where do you see, where you see Charlton finishing this year? Kind of... If I, if I asked you this three weeks ago, you know, on the opening day of the season after yeah. the first, you'd probably be saying top six, yeah. but probably be a bit different now. I, I put fourth down as my League One predictions. Um, I'm now probably going to say tenth. 
Yeah. Uh, it depends on the manager that we come in, though. Um, hopefully, we just stay away from relegation. That's, that's the only thing for us. <laughs> I think I'm thinking the same. And I also put you forth in mind, mate. Josh, all the best. Go Thank subscribe to his YouTube channel, mate. Thank Top you. man. And uh, all the best, but not for today. Hope you lose <laughs> miserably. <laughs> League One Bad of Asians. Yeah, you're on Twitter. They'll be coming at us. I'd probably, I'd say, no more than 75, 80 Cleveland fans in this away end. 500 mile round trip, one point from the first five. There's only 1,500 support, no season to console this year. It was always going to be you know, a small away following, but we're going to get battered for this. But again, fans do not need the game. I've been seen many times before. I'm dealing with you. We're only battered for the score in one or two. The main man for has got me, Jaden Stockley, a big focal point you to play here. You know, point to prove really, he's been signing from Saltman for 250 grand, got a lot of slaughters for his time here. But again, an old fashioned centre forward, you know, he's a good centre forward at this level. I want to see more goals from him. And again, today he's got a chance, he's not fully fit, he's a lot of injuries. He's a big performance for my number nine. We're playing with Bonnie Bird! We'll fall and forever! We'll fall here and fall! You'll always hear us singing! If you have a goal, I'll have you fall! Oi, oi, oi! 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 Oi, Short corners. Actually. Oh. Dead, dead, dead. Red and white on me. 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 Been an ideal start, bro. Enjoying a fleet of performance. Am I still asleep because I didn't get any last night? Well, we're at the first target of half an hour in, really settled the crowd down, not really allowed them any attempt on goal. They're getting down the wing backs, getting crosses in, but no real glory on goal yet. A couple of pot efforts, but they can have them. 
good performance so far. Well, they're getting chances on this kind of, they're on these far flanks, yeah, getting balls into the box. There's one there that two strikes to the box, one of them Alfie Bay. He hit goals. The season league one, when he's on it, misses it, completely misses it. We're getting away with one. And then you have the shot that's well blocked by the boss and riding our luck. But then you've not had no shots on target. It's a good ball. And it's a simple ball behind that you know we we're very high up and he just runs in behind so effectively and puts it on the uh, you know Matt Mullen in the fleet with goal really good finish I think it's three and three for him now this season he's really up and running and found a home here great finish and we have it all to do again one all so sucker punch is their first kind of real shot on target and again same old story. Well, Miles Lieburn comes on, scored 12 uh, last season. Only started in 18 of you know, Charlton's games last year. Big, prolific striker. They make a lot of long balls. And he's a big six foot plus striker. They can hold it up for the likes of Alfie Major running behind. Lethal combo when they get going. Oh, Charlton. Well, again, they've got a penalty, Boston. You know, brought the Charlton man down. It's a great ball. I thought they'd been a bit passive. Passing the ball very, you know, very sideways. Not doing yeah, anything. No, they've got good no, you know, with the ball, but no, not really no, done anything. No. Not been very direct. And every time they've got the ball into the box, ask questions, and they've won themselves the penalty. Boston, stupid foul, but it's a simple foul to give away, really. And, you know, we're up against it now. Alfie May, I know it was a penalty, he just loves scoring against Lakeland. Every time, and I think he's brilliant. And he starts scoring goals now at Shelton, 4 and 3. He scores penalties, he scores in the box, he scores headers, he scores on the halfway line. You know, he scores all different types of goals. Perfect striker. Well, Asamoa, Hayes, and Tabongo. Oh, Tabongo signed on low for Peter yesterday. Three subs, very attacking subs. We've got to go for it now. Two on down, we what? 15 to go, maybe. Maybe another seven with injuries. Oh, oh, he's in trouble. Well, again, they're exploiting the wingers. Key and age with a, a smart foul, shall I say, been booked for it. There's 81 on the clock. I've counted nine minutes of injury time. Flicking and losing, I mean, there's six. Charlton look good in patches, and you can see, you know, how they're going to get better with the season as players come back, but still way off, but still been brilliant. Charlton fans in full voice behind the team. You know, they've been brilliant this afternoon. How could they have been brilliant? Yeah, yeah, the hatch just couldn't quite get his laces off. He just scored five out of them out today, but two, and when he's seen the game at this race. Good ball in, lads. Oh. Come on. I'd love it if we got something here. I'd love it if we scored here. Oh! They really oh, managed this go. game really well. And, you know, managed time out. You know, not really let us have any opportunities. For the first half now, we were the better side. After that, it's been a, a very disappointing display from us, to be fair. We, we had to, to sit on, but unfortunately, didn't sit on it very well. He 
It's despair again for Fleetwood. Five defeats out of six. Six defeats in all competitions on the bounce. With a Port Vale defeat. It hurts right now. It really does. James Stockler got a lot for a good start. But after that, we didn't do anything, unfortunately. Played all right. Played all right at the moment. Isn't good enough. We're not getting the look. We're not getting the, we, the thing we deserve. Shelton. Scott, we're going to We'll be better or better. I probably edge the game overall. Alfie made the difference in this game. Well done to them. Thanks for watching today's video. Starting at 5 a.m. We'll end at 12 o'clock tonight. Please like, please subscribe. 250 likes would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Things will get better. I hope so. Two weeks now with no game. You've got to improve. Second bottom of the league. This hurts, lads. Two weeks to sort it. And we go again. Come on, the cards.